Good day, brave souls and wildlife aficionados. Get ready to be amazed by the fierce rivalries, animal brawls, and heart-pounding hunting moments on Wild Battle. Elephant versus Hippopotamus. In this video, you can see the elephant wanted to swim in the swamp and forgot about its cub, who always follows it. The elephant was knee-deep in water, but the poor baby almost drowned, for it was only helped by its trunk, which it carefully held above water to breathe. But this was not the end of the elephant's problems, as there were two hippos in the swamp. They do not like strangers in their territory, so they slowly rushed to the elephant, which was barely hanging on. But the furious elephant mother reacted to the threat in time. It attacked the hippos and drove them away with its powerful tusks. It's good that everything ended well for the elephants. Let's start with a heartbreaking situation. A large anaconda strangled a baby calf. People just didn't have time to come to the rescue. The cow, which found its baby, tried for a long time to shake it with its muzzle, but it did not help it. People at that time tied the anaconda with ropes and tried to drag it across the river, but it looks like the cow realized what had happened, and after the bite on its nose, it just got furious. You can see the real mother's rage. The cow started to take as much revenge as it could, trampling the snake with her hooves and muzzle. I think the anaconda is unlikely to be left alive, especially after what it did to the calf. You see, definitely the unluckiest African warthog, trying to escape a pack of wild dogs, it came close to a river with crocodiles. The crocodile didn't have to wait long to attack, and it quickly dragged the pig to the bottom. The warthog simply had no way out. These are the harsh laws of the wilderness. Leopard versus Bird The diet of the leopard usually consists of hooved animals, but sometimes this predator can eat rodents, monkeys, as well as birds and snakes. In this episode, you can see all the agility of this beautiful animal. It managed to catch a bird even in a tree. It will not attack a human being, but if you disturb the animal, especially if it's wounded, the leopard will definitely attack, and the consequences can be sorrowful. History knows a sad case from the beginning of the 20th century in India, when a rabid leopard killed more than 130 people, and this is only official data. At night, it used to sneak into houses and yards of people and kill them on the spot. In the African savanna, the most irreconcilable and uncompromising opponents are lions and hyenas. Hyenas are still poorly studied nocturnal predators, while lions are considered one of the most intelligent and dangerous hunters. In this fight, the advantage was clearly on the side of the hyenas, the whole pack against one poor lioness, who had to flee and hide from them in a tree. Snake versus snake. This is a rather unusual fight, where two almost identical in size snakes came together. I do not know what the black snake is called, but the second is clearly a viper and was very unlucky. The black predator just ate the whole viper and crawled away. I can't even imagine how the viper fit inside this rabid predator. But these are the laws of nature, and even a dangerous and poisonous predator can become someone's lunch. If you know what the black snake is called, please note it in the comments. I'm truly curious. One of the most peaceful big cats is certainly the cheetah. Now this doesn't mean that if you notice a cheetah that you can go up to it and rub its neck, but they're not dangerous for people. The world fame of the cheetah is not because of its peaceful disposition, but its incredible sprinting ability. Now you see how the fastest terrestrial predator spotted a family of warthogs, but the cheetah clearly underestimated its opponents. Several large warthogs started to defend their young fiercely and took turns pounding on the brazen predator. After a successful hit, the cheetah flew several meters into the air and immediately realized that it had to get out of the way quickly. Crocodiles do not distinguish ranks and attack not only defenseless ungulates, but also lions, hippos, and even elephants. 
Crocodile jaws have tremendous strength. In addition, he has a special structure of teeth. They are arranged asymmetrically, so that the large teeth of the upper jaw correspond to the small bottom jaw. So his teeth lock together like a lock, and it's almost impossible to escape from his mouth. A leopard versus a cheetah. The cheetah can run at a speed of 65 kilometers per hour in two seconds and run 110 kilometers per hour. But this speed did not help it to escape from the leopard, which likes to sit in an ambush. Protecting its possessions, the leopard behaves very intolerant and shows extreme aggression towards cheetahs, its relatives, and members of the feline family. It was the violation of the leopard's territory that caused the cheetah's death. But they are quite tolerant towards individuals of their species, even showing friendliness when encountering them at hunting grounds. Here you see how a naughty pit bull decided to attack a pack of capybaras. A capybara is a rodent that weighs up to 65 kilograms and looks very much like a huge guinea pig. Capybaras are semi-aquatic and spend most of their time in water. So for a dog to fight in water with a pack of such giant guinea pigs is doomed to failure in advance. But the dog still confidently swims towards them despite the bites and attacks of the capybaras who are just protecting their nest and offspring. The pit bull pays no attention at all to the cries of his mistress, who calls out to him on the other shore. Good thing the capybaras weren't too aggressive and the dog returned to his mistress unharmed. Look at that. A cheeky snake attacked a rabbit's nest with several babies in it. I don't know if it managed to kill all of them, but the furious mother returned home and immediately attacked the intruder. Clearly, the rabbit does not have any special weapons to cope with such an enemy, but it attacked the snake as skillfully as possible to chase it away from its nest as quickly as possible. It worked very well and very effectively. In previous episodes of Battle of the Animals, we've already seen what a successful hunter the hungry jaguar is. It can easily track down even a crocodile, attack, and stay in this fight as a winner. Jaguars very often hunt caimans. Having killed such a large prey, the predator stays near it and eats it in two tries. But things don't always end so smoothly. There were cases when the jaguar itself almost became a victim to the toothy reptile. Here you see how the crocodile dragged the cat of prey into the water, and only a few seconds later, by some miracle, the jaguar managed to get out. Thank you for watching this video on Wild Battle. To stay engaged with our upcoming content featuring animal rivalries, battles, and hunting scenes, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment to let us know what you enjoyed most.